any appliance here, but I got so much junk in here, so I think I'd be able to uh, squeeze it in the back here. I'm hoping. Finding so many of these dryers lately, I can't believe it. Kenmore. Hmm. These ones are they're bulky. Not sure if I can get this one in. Hopefully. holding it here. It's a water bottle. Close but not not there. holding it. Should go. Understand why it's not want to go. Must be the cord or something. Oh, it's right here. Look at this. But you can try that a million times, it would never happen. Okay, my load so far, doors, I find a washing machine or dryer in the morning and then corner beads. Okay, I'm gonna show you when the carpet, see how the carpet the staples, the staples holding it. All I do is go like this. So much nicer. Still trim here, let's come off. Only came out like right in the wall actually, I'll leave it.
loose the warp on this house. The floor is totally warped. Looks a little nicer. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's so much nicer, if you know what I mean. Not so, uh, carpet, like when it's stuck there, it doesn't look so good. Spindles at least. The only problem is they're too short, to be honest. It should be 42 inches. It's too short. Well, these are long here, but those are all short. really hot today
Yeah, you know, maybe. Oh, maybe come grab this. Is that breaking a million pieces? Take it one. Take the whole thing to the garbage can, then. It's gonna rip the drywall, no choice. It's... It's a problem. That's the problem. Don't have a ladder. The stairs are kind of in the way there. Tough to get that one, and I have to kind of try and screw it somehow. there.
hold there already in the wall. Got the patch anyway, so choice we can do here. Okay. Yeah, it's Robinson. Okay, we're done upstairs completely. This washroom here. They leave the ceiling in for now because they don't wanna. They may just put a couple holes. Who knows? And they'll just double drywall. That's their plan. He said all the copper that they take out, like from heating, whatever, he'll save for me, which is nice. It's done here. Closet. It's done. Closet's done. To leave this door here, just it might just change the pocket door, the actual door. Don't get notes. Don't forget notes. But you know things could change. Then leave that window like that. This just comes out here. It gets reformatted. Shower could be somewhere else. Who knows? That's the walk-in closet. Air conditioner line will come through here, so they need part of that. Like they say, they'll work with the ceiling, cut potholes, whatever, and then boom, covered over. Slap a corner bead, but there'll be probably texture here. They'll probably leave it there. They're not too picky with texture to people. So that's the upstairs. Okay, so we have still take the insulation out here, denail this whole section, and denail the ceiling in the kitchen. It's basically a denail to the walls. Um, this room's done. Ceiling's denailed. This is denailed here. We still got carpet downstairs. I'll show you there in a minute. Denailed here, denailed there. Clean already here. Can't get the stuff off. They put actually kind of like a synthetic mesh made of cloth and glued it. So it's supposed to not crack. We, I think I'm gonna have to cut the floor out. The problem is it sits on joists as plywood. It's not like there's a subfloor and then, you know, another layer on top. No, it's not. So the nail ceiling here and a little bit on the edges. That wall is coming out, but since it's electrical and stuff, I'm gonna leave it. I took that wall out already. Boom, one shot. Go downstairs for a quick second. They're just cleaning some of the rubble around, around the backyard there. We might be keeping the doors, but we're taking a trim off, we think. The baseboards around the windows. Fireplace stays. This is garbage. Freezer stays full of food. They want this for sure taken out. Furnace area. Bifolds. Hmm. Not really sure about bifolds, but, you know, 
all the pens, right? They may be taking this washing mode, we don't know, but it's okay because it's marble. I can smash it apart pretty quick. So we'll see. So I could use this other house. Store here. So that's it, guys. Pretty, uh, pretty easy uh, strip out. So we'll be we'll be cleaning the nails up there, pulling the insulation out, of the washroom, the living room ceiling. All the insulation comes out tomorrow. Denailed up there. And then carpets for sure, trim, doors, this, bathroom we don't know, bifolds don't know, the doors might stay too, but they'll change the trim. They'll put a trim like a three and a half inches and they'll put a five inch baseboard trim. Flat, just flat and cheap and simple. And it looks good, okay? That's it I think for now. See what happens, okay. Okay, so I'll get the fridge in here for that job. This so it's working pretty good. It's a shuffle a little bit to get it in there, a couple cuts and so on. Maybe these are pretty heavy. I heard prices for uh, iron got is going up a little bit, I think, because there's demand in Turkey for it. Turkey the they make rebar. I'm not sure but you know we might not see it here but the other ones are buying steel or tin or shred or whatever should be heavy load fridge is really heavy Four dirt bikes in there. Two big ones, two small ones. Let's move my car first. Dead spots right here. Stuff light, but at least it's gonna fill the gap. Twisted in there. Get it through in the garbage, but no, I'll recycle it. Not super heavy, but you know, fill gaps, right? Let me just fill it up here, it's just too time consuming here. Okay, I'm gonna close the door now, but that's what I have in for the van. Now, there's a few things I can throw in there, I'm gonna have to cut a couple things, but I'll close the van right now. Or the close the door on the uh, bin. It's always gaps still, right? It's gonna be a good load, I'm happy. You got that little hot water tank in there. That fridge too worked out really good. 
fridge is really heavy. Okay, let me get my ladder ready and I'll show you more. Looking pretty good. I think it's going to be a good load. Looks pretty heavy. I still got some more over there. Just a couple things here and there. It's generally a pretty good, good load. Just make it harder. Stuff's mostly laid. I think that's, that's going to be it, unless I get some really small stuff. Whew. It's a hot day today. Yeah, like I said, if we get some little heavier stuff I can put in here, but I think that's going to be it. And if I take some electronics apart, you know, no problem, but the rest is just kind of airy, light. At least I got a full bin for Saturday, which I'm happy. I got one appliance in there. What do I got here for inventory? So I'll have six appliances. Barbecue there. A bit of rubble there. Filing cabinets. Three dishwashers. Lots of barbecues, so let's see. Got almost get a half a load sitting right now, and every day changes, huh? So you don't know from one day to the next day. These have to take to recycle center. So I got these doors, and I put them in the garage there. I might fit my own doors in my house. It's the same kind of vintage, you know, sizes and stuff. Okay, let me get the rest put away. Okay.